Alrighty, so if you're starting this video, you probably already know what my review of Steel Curtain has been. So Steel Curtain on my top 10 new for 2019 roller coasters in North America has been uh, Max Force. Max Force was my number one, followed by Steel Curtain at number two, and I always did say they were very interchangeable. So we've learned quite a bit more about Steel Curtain. In fact, I don't even think we really learned more. I think our eyes were just somewhat opened up. I feel like a lot of enthusiasts kind of knew some of these facts already. And then some of, you know, us less enthusiasts, like less hardcore enthusiasts didn't really know all the details. So I definitely, for some reason, I don't know why, did not know it didn't it didn't have over the shoulder restraints. Um, the train design, by the way, is absolutely stunning. I know a lot of people hate it, but I love it. I'm not a football fan at all. Um, but I absolutely love this train design. I don't know what it is. I love the football seats. I love the black on yellow. In fact, everything about Steel Curtain has extremely grown on me. So, Steel Curtain features lap bars. I feel like a lot of you already knew that, and maybe a lot of you on my channel, including myself, did not know that. So, <laughs> I'm here to tell you that my new number one for 2019 is Steel Curtain. I am so excited for Steel Curtain. It looks absolutely amazing. The color scheme has grown on me. I don't know when or why, but it has absolutely grown on me. I actually really like it, especially seeing the support structure going up in person. It's a lot darker and more, um, it's got more of a shine to it than the POV kind of makes it look. So it actually will stand out more and it doesn't look as dull. So I'm, I'm super pleased with that. And I mean, this thing's going to be impressive. Imagine going through all these inversions, airtime hills, that height, the deke outs, the close calls with all the support beams and the support structures with a lap bar. Okay, this thing is going to be impressive. This thing's going to be amazing. Um, and I'm not even trying to hype this up, okay? I'm so excited. I now, <laughs> this is, again, I just said, this is my new number one. Max Force is still up there. And again, these are very interchangeable rides, but I have to give it to Steel Curtain now just because it's got kind of, you know, Similar kind of aspects to Max Force. Again, you guys are probably like, well, Max Force is a launch. Steel Curtain is a lift hill. I know that. But I'm talking about in terms of like, you know, the tight turns, the inversions at high speeds. That They're very similar. So I have to give it to Steel Curtain now. It's a longer ride. It looks really unique. So I'm going to have to say Steel Curtain is my new number one. Max Force is going to be my number two. Um, but I'm still really excited for both those rides. Those rides definitely come above anything else, including Yukon Striker, even though I love Yukon Striker, and it's definitely going to be one of my favorite rides, um, just that I hold close to my heart, um, just because it was kind of the birth of the channel. But I'm definitely looking forward to Steel Curtain and Max Force more, and uh, I'm so excited. What do you guys think of Steel Curtain and that new flyover POV and... Um, the train design. I want to hear from you down below. Comment down below what you guys think. Where does Steel Curtain rank on your list now with a few of these details kind of coming forward? Again, I know some of you probably already knew the lap bars thing. And um, I think a lot of you know that watch my channel. I'm not like um, one of those enthusiasts that count credits and know all the details about things. And I've never pretended to know that. I've been very honest in my videos um, that I'm, I'm learning still. Um, but I definitely love roller coasters and I love theme parks. They're my favorite thing in the world. But I'm definitely not one of those people that are like, you ask me a question about a roller coaster somewhere in China and I know it. So I'm still learning um, and I have a lot to learn and I'm excited to learn and I'm excited to travel next year in 2019. And this is definitely gonna be one of those parks that I hit up and I'm super excited to hit up. Anyways, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I wanted to update you guys on my thoughts on... Um, steel curtain and how I feel about the color scheme now and the train design now and the name and everything. I, I actually really like it and I'm liking that parks are actually reaching out and co-branding with brands out there. It actually makes coasters like this more affordable for smaller parks and then it makes bigger parks be able to afford much larger attractions than they currently can. Anyways, comment down below your thoughts. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one guys. Bye.